What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how to find never ending questions, which is unlock number 19 on the altar of rights in the upcoming season 28 for Diablo 3. This item is going to be a rare drop from rare enemies in any set dungeon. Now, a couple things to note. Remember, you don't have to actually master the set dungeon. All you're doing is killing the enemies. Now, you don't want to go in and fail the set dungeon right away as the enemies will just despawn. Then you'll have nothing else to kill. So you do want to make sure that you're able to kill enemies, um, you know, before the set dungeon expires. There will also be other things to drop, like the maddening questions. So never ending questions is just one of the potential drops. Uh, what set dungeon you use is completely up to you. Now, I am on a demon hunter here using the Natalia set. So with that in mind, we are going to do the Natalia set dungeon, which is pretty easy to get to. And, you know, assuming you like playing the DH, I think it's kind of a no brainer to go to that one. Uh, you just come back out, uh, go to the Werther, Wortham Chapel cellar and then just run back out into Wortham. The set dungeon is going to be right there. Now, another one of the benefits here is you don't have to log in and out to reset the set dungeon. Once you complete it, it will automatically reset. You just have to leave and go back in. So once you pop on in, of course, it's going to give you the objectives. And the objectives, as I mentioned, don't matter. But you will want to be able to keep the objective going long enough where the enemies don't despawn. If the enemies despawn, of course, then you get no benefits. So... This is also will be an easy set dungeon to master. Uh, you know, there's actually quite a few easy set dungeons to master, of course, but for the seasonal journey as well. But we just want to run on through, try to kill everything here, because remember, once again, it is going to be a rare drop from these enemies. So let's just blast on through the map. Looks like we missed one right there. Let's continue along here and make sure we get them all. So we still have quite a few monsters to kill here. Uh, of course it is timed. Um, this particular set dungeon, you see I've got what, four more minutes left. So plenty of time to get the job done here. And we're just gonna blast on through and make sure we kill everything, ideally without losing the set dungeon objectives. Uh, once again, if you lose the objectives, the set dungeon ends. You're still in the set dungeon and can run around in it, but there won't be any more enemies to kill. So this particular one is just by far one of the easiest ones to do without a doubt. And uh, pretty nice, simple, fast clear. Now, obviously you could blast through this much faster um, if you chose to. And that of course is an option. We got one more baddie left. Where on earth is it? Uh, didn't go through in a very clean order here. There it is over there. Of course it shows it on the map. Set dungeon over. Now, once the set dungeon ends, you can still run around and look for your item. It's not a guaranteed drop. It is a rare drop. So you're going to have to run it several times unless you just get lucky with some RNG. Uh, I'm not seeing any items on the ground anywhere. So it looks like it is rinse and repeat on this one for me. So, yeah, nothing laying around. Uh, of course, you can always pick it up as you're killing as well but not seeing anything here. Now, since this is something you're going to rinse and repeat, in most aspects of Diablo 3, you would log out right now and then log back in to reset it. You don't have to do that with set dungeons. All you have to do is leave, and then you can just go right back in, and it refreshes it for you automatically. So that is how you get your never-ending questions. Uh, it, it'll be super easy for everyone to get. It is a rare drop. It will take a few different runs, uh, most likely, for you to get it. However, it's quick and painless. Uh, failing the set dungeon doesn't matter. You just got to get in there and grind through some of those enemies. But that will do it for now. Thanks a ton for watching, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.